I'm a little wild for this. Like, I'm not even trying to be funny, nasty, but one of the biggest differences is when I hire a maid to wash my clothes in a grot, they do not wash ladies' draws. They refuse. So they'll wash my partner's dirty draws, but in a grot, most of the maids do not wash women's panties because it's just seen as nasty. But like here, my maid here in Nairobi, she has no problems. Like she's never mentioned it and that's the norm. And like, I'm just wondering why, like I almost got offended in a crock. Cause I'm like, you're going to wash his dirty draws, but you're not going to wash my draws. Like that's very annoying. Do you know what I'm saying? But yeah, like, I'm just wondering what is going on with that? Like culturally, I think over there, it may be like, oh my God, they're going to want to wash your draws. But here they don't care. And they wash my draws because I'm paying. So, I mean, that was one of the differences that I had felt personally but there are a lot of differences between the two cities other other differences that matter so i'm just kind of here to go over the differences that i see personally between the two cities i'm like living my best by coastal babe life um originally i am from atlanta and i'm an expat i'm currently living in Nairobi, but planting roots and building my home with my partner in Accra. Um, Nairobi is where the money resides, so that's where Brittany resides, but I do plan on like living in Accra forever. But honestly, the more time I spend in Nairobi, hmm, may wanna be here too. It's the food for me. Ugh. The food in Accra is just unbeatable. The food in Nairobi is just not doing it for me. I mean, I don't know. A lot of the Nairobi food is very Indian based. Um, their local foods, they have like ugali and like spinach stew and like mandazi and it's just not hitting for me. I don't know. That's just been like an awkward because you don't want to tell people like your food is nasty. Like that's hella rude. You know what I'm saying? But it's just not hitting on that same level that Ghanaian food is. But honestly, even a lot of Kenyans have agreed with me. So I'm, it's not like I'm trying to be rude. It's just like yeah if you're trying to chow down definitely Accra is the place because kenya me and my partner have like lost weight being here to be honest because if it's not like american food or like indian food i don't know the local food just really is not it is not nasty i don't want to say it's nasty but it's just different like in Accra, you're gonna find a lot of stuff on the streets you know wache um chop bars both low all these options that you can have that are quick and on the go but really the only nairobi street food that's like quick and on the go and always accessible is like fruits um sausage they're really like sausage and egg heavy here which is really interesting to me because it's just like not a complete <laughs> like meal i don't know it's so weird i don't know but it's like i miss that's one thing that i love about Accra. like you're always gonna have food on the street like I can truly get a whole meal on the way to work on the way to wherever I need just by sitting in the car I, Nairobi does not have a lot of people on the street selling things like when you're in a car you can literally be driving and I need windshield wipers bam a windshield wiper person I need anchor charts for my classroom bam anchor charts Oh my God, I think I need socks. Bam, socks. There's not really like that street hustle here. I think it's because of the cops maybe are like regulating it. I think regulation here is really, truly more strict, which leads to less people being on the street. But like, if I was a hustler, I feel like there's way more people in the streets in Accra. Like you'll see a lot of people in Nairobi like sleeping on the sides, kind of like high off glue. I'm not joking. Um, at first I thought they were taking naps because they were like labor workers during the day and someone had to explain to me that drugs here are a big thing with the youth. Unemployment is a big problem for both cities when it comes to youth, but I guess like um, drug availability is a lot higher here in Nairobi and therefore you will see a lot more homeless people or people on the street which is natural when you have a higher population anyway but like Accra does not really have like that many homeless people or like people who are just strung out you're gonna see it but definitely not at the same rate. Accra is a beautiful city. Um, Accra is right on the beach of West Africa. It is super convenient flying wise when you're coming from America. 
Um, there's definitely a lot of things that make Accra feel more like home. I feel like as an African American, I can say um, it's the population is a lot lower in Accra than it is in Nairobi. Nairobi is a very, very developed city. So like when I got to Nairobi, I did not realize how big Nairobi really would be. It is a huge city. A lot of people have told me like Nairobi's the Las Vegas or the New York of Africa. I honestly can't compare because I have not been everywhere. I haven't been to South Africa, like Johannesburg, Cape Town and all of that. But I could definitely see why people say that. Like Nairobi is huge. So like in Accra, you have your little sections of Accra that are super nice super um built up and like the infrastructure is really nice but it's on a way smaller scale than here in nairobi to be honest like when i'm going around nairobi and you see skyscrapers and really nice apartments and things like that's truly the norm here um even in like the areas that are less expensive because it's just a more developed city and i think it's also because nairobi has been invested into by foreigners a lot more than Accra. So because of that, you see like way better infrastructure on the roads. You're gonna see like way more even like foreign restaurants all around. There's a really big, heavy foreign presence here in Nairobi. Um, just walking around, you see a lot of like Indian culture. I wanna say a lot of Chinese, um, a lot of white people you just see way more of a, di a diverse population than in comparison to Accra. so i don't want to say that like nairobi is more colonized because i mean that's kind of awful i guess I, I mean i don't know is that awful is that mean i don't know but um you can definitely tell that nairobi is more on a colonized foreign owned and invested track than Accra right um there's a lot of foreign power here as well i feel like foreigners hold way more power class wise here um than in accra the school system is a little better so because of a lot of the you know mixed interests that are going on here and the interactions globally seem a little further here in nairobi i think it actually kind of like provides a little bit of difference in the way that the city looks. Accra is a really small city. I think Accra is beautiful, but you can definitely tell it just has a lot further to go as far as like technological advancements than Nairobi. Nairobi is light years ahead. Like I even have a lot of problems with like my phone service a lot of time in Accra like it's been easier for me to speak with my family without like disruptions or like issues when it's raining and stuff when I am in Nairobi versus in Accra like I know in Accra sometimes like the power will just go off and like all these things that are really annoying and inconvenient that I don't really have to deal with here in Nairobi which makes me feel kind of annoyed at times when I'm in Accra but like I said I mean all these things are things that we're working towards Accra is growing at a major major rate and I think land is a lot cheaper in Accra than Nairobi but for sure that the security here in Nairobi is on a different level than Accra and that was a culture shock for me when I first got here because in Accra it's not really like guards everywhere um, heavy security checks everywhere, heavy COVID regulations everywhere. Like Nairobi is really on that strict, very protocol based security system. I have brought my drone into Accra multiple times, no issues. I have bought like boxed goods in my bag, multiple issues, no really issues from customs. They just kind of, when you get there, they're like, oh, well, what's in your bag, you know? And you're like, oh, this and this, like, it's nothing like seriously mandated or stressful. But when you, that the security here in Nairobi is on a different level than Accra. And that was a culture shock for me when I first got here because in Accra, it's not really like guards everywhere, um, heavy security checks everywhere, heavy COVID regulations everywhere. Like Nairobi is really on that strict, very protocol based security system. I have brought my drone into Accra multiple times, no issues. I have bought like 
boxed goods in my bag multiple issues no really issues from customs they just kind of when you get there they're like oh well what's in your bag you know and you're like oh this and this like it's nothing like seriously mandated or stressful but when you get to nairobi when you land they're in your bags like they are checking your bags i think that they check and scan really your checked bags I know I got my drone seized and it became an issue. Obviously it's because in East Africa there's more like terrorist threats and like the whole Westgate issue that went on at the Westgate mall with the bombing and stuff. So Nairobi obviously has more of a reason to be like heavy into security, but it really does like affect your everyday life. So everywhere we go, like restaurants, even if you're just going to like the wine shop, um, the mall, like, there's heavy security. Everything is like gated. They want to look in your car. They want to like, even when I go to work, like they're looking in your car, they're doing all this. Like there's security guards everywhere here in Nairobi. Um, even when you're like walking around trying to film, like people are really strict about security and um, the threat of terrorism here in Nairobi. So I feel like it kind of puts me more on edge and like my anxiety. Um, everything is, like I said, gated, apartment buildings super gated. Nairobi is definitely way more um, protected as far as security goes. But I get to Nairobi, when you land, they're in your bags. Like, they are checking your bags. I think that they check and scan really your checked bags. I know I got my drone seized and it became an issue. Obviously it's because in East Africa, there's more like terrorist threats and like the whole Westgate issue that went on at the Westgate mall with the bombing and stuff. So Nairobi obviously has more of a reason to be like heavy into security, but it really does like affect your everyday life. So everywhere we go, like restaurants, even if you're just going to like the wine shop, um, the mall, like, there's heavy security. Everything is like gated. They want to look in your car. They want to like, even when I go to work, like they're looking in your car, they're doing all this. Like there's security guards everywhere here in Nairobi. Um, even when you're like walking around trying to film, like people are really strict about security and um, the threat of terrorism here in Nairobi. So I feel like it kind of puts me more on edge and like my anxiety. Um, everything is, like I said, gated, apartment buildings super gated. Nairobi is definitely way more um, protected as far as security goes. But I know, like, in Accra, it's just not like that. Like, of course, your homes are gated and things like that, but you're not, like, going through the security check to go to the damn grocery store you know what i'm saying or like to just go to the mall and all these things so that was definitely a culture shock for me and it becomes so annoying like having to step out of my car sometimes i'm like y'all aren't even fully checking the whole car so if i did have a machete under the seat you didn't really check under the seat the amount of malls the amount of grocery store options the amount of like retail power I think is definitely not as high in Accra as in Nairobi like Nairobi has really everything here in Nairobi there is an abundant amount, amount of plazas malls a lot of retail stuff versus Accra which is still really like um, mom and pop heavy as well like but like on the actual streets in Accra it's like you're driving on the streets and you see like you know shop 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 on the street but here it's like they're in malls they're in plazas it's more like centralized i want to say more like business transaction um type vibes it's just like a stricter business city as far as if you're someone who likes to like go out have fun eat out like go to clubs nairobi is definitely way more of a party city for sure there's a lot of options here which has actually been really toxic for me but like if you are looking for something that's not too much of a culture shock nairobi is definitely the place because it really does sometimes i do not feel like oh my god like i'm living somewhere so far and different than where i was in america because it truly feels the same also way more like nicer parts of Nairobi that are even available to live than in Accra. So like in Accra, you have continents, you have like East Lagoon, you have Airport City, and that's pretty much it. Like that's the highlight of 
the nice places that are really expat heavy and stuff. But in Nairobi, I mean, Westlands is probably the size of all three of those put together. It's really big, um, just a lot more space. The weather is so good in Nairobi. It's Nairobi is on a hill versus Accra, which is at sea level. It can be really humid at times. So like Nairobi can be really chilly. When I first came to Nairobi, I was shocked. Like I was shook, shaken up because I just had no clue that Africa had the capability to be that damn cold. Like when I moved from Atlanta, I did not even bring most of my like hoodies, sweats and all that, like my Uggs. Like I left all that at home. I thought I was leaving that in my past life. You know what I'm saying? But when I came here to Nairobi, I was shocked that I even had to get a damn heater in my house. I was really appalled because it's really just that cold versus Accra, which is never cold. If anything, it's just like humid and rainy. So that's one thing, like if you're looking for a mild climate, Nairobi for sure, but if you're wanting like that tropical vibe, truly it's in Accra. Like in Nairobi, there's more of a tie to pleasing foreigners, I wanna say like in Ghana, there's a lot of Lebanese, but I cannot say that the Lebanese are like put on a higher pedestal than the rest of the population. Like Ghanaians will always demand respect, stand up for themselves for the most part from what I've seen like there's no funny business when it comes to like social hierarchies with foreigners and stuff but that is definitely not how it is here in Nairobi from what I've seen um a lot of the population kind of like naturally beckons down to other races which has been actually very frustrating for me I have witnessed it myself I've experienced it myself I've been in line places and they will literally like let a Indian come in front or like, you know, back in the, the Mzungu, which is what Kenyans refer to white people as like park ahead of everyone else, like local Kenyans and things like that. And it's just like really astounding to me. Like the amount of defending myself that I've had to do here in Nairobi, just defending my honor and demanding respect in situations where it's like, me coming before someone else or like the differences in service or anything like that has just been like really prominent. Is that always everywhere I go? No, I've gotten amazing service in a, a lot of different places, but I've just run into that as an issue way more here than ever in Accra. I think that there's definitely like a heavier emphasis on white supremacy here in Nairobi and Kenya in general as compared to Ghana. There's definitely a big difference between the two culturally. They're both on the same trajectory, I think, as far as just the future is bright in both places and it's amazing, but I do think Kenya is heavier on tourism. I think Kenya is heavier on infrastructure and a little more developed than Ghana. But if you're looking for like a real true diaspora experience, something different, something that's not aligned to like where you're probably coming from or not really feeling like America all the way and all that, I would say definitely go to Ghana because the culture is there. I know I just feel like a heavier gravitational pull ancestral wise because I know that my people came from West Africa. Do you know what I'm saying? So it's like that kind of that mind and body link is heavier for me when I'm in Accra than in Nairobi for sure because I don't want to be like, oh my God, these are not my people. Because Africans as a whole, we are, you know, we're a people. But I definitely do feel um, a heavier call emotionally when I'm in Accra. And, like, there's no Cape Coast. As much as, like, Kenya has the safaris, Mombasa, all these places that you can visit, there's no Cape Coast where you can, like, this is where my ancestors were rounded up and sent across sea. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not that emotional connection here for me as an african-american so that has been the biggest difference also the time difference like me having my whole entire family in america if i were to live out here permanently i would be eight hours off for, versus a girl which is only four hours from new york so it's a little more like travel friendly it's a little more staying in contact with your friends friendly it's just easier to kind of have fluidity throughout communication during the day 
versus here in Nairobi, when I'm starting my day in my family, some of them are just going to sleep at 3 a.m., which makes it really hard. Like, it truly is far off. I think we're on the same time zone as, like, Istanbul. Like, it is far, you know? Um, when you're looking at the map, I didn't even realize how far the two cities were because when you look at the map, they're, like, both at the kind of skinniest part of Africa in the middle. But you just don't... They lie about how big Africa even is on the map. So it looks like a smaller distance than LA and Atlanta but it's actually a larger distance like it's just crazy so it's been exhausting for me trying to keep in communication with my family as a black American expat in Africa um, from Nairobi that extra four hours really truly threw me off it truly did um, so yeah and then as far as traveling you can fly easily from DC to Accra in 10 hours on a direct flight here, the quickest flight is 15 hours and it's from JFK to Nairobi. So there's a lot of ups, there's a lot of downs between the two. I love them both. I don't think I could really afford to buy land in Nairobi because this is spent up. But the good thing is though, Nairobi has more, but the good thing is actually Nairobi has more finance options and the banks. The good thing is actually Nairobi has more finance options and the banks are a little more stable. I think when it comes to like giving loans, I see like title loan signs and things. It seems like the economy is a little more stable here um, as far as giving loans for land builders and people who wanna build houses, but is that always a good thing? You know, when you move to another country, do you want to travel just to have the same credit and debt that you had leaving America? Isn't that kind of like the point? Do you know what I'm saying? So. I don't even know if I would want that credit option as far as us building in Accra even right now. Like, even though it's a slow process, I kind of appreciate the fact that we're paying in cash so I don't have to worry about that. So, yeah, I mean, th that's just my take on the two. My differences on 